Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Monday. This is kind of our last full week. It is our last full week of instruction. And so if we were in the classroom right now, I would be sharing lots of books having to do with the end of the school year. And so this week for reading, we are going to take a look at some of my favorite end of the year books and we're just really reading them for pleasure to enjoy um, a good book. The one I have to share with you um, this morning is Last Day Blues by Julie Danberg. If you think back to the beginning of the school year, um, we read First Day Jitters by Julie Danberg and we were sort of surprised at the end of the book that the person kind of worried or having the jitters was actually the teacher. Well, there is a surprise at the end of this book, Last Day Blues, as well. So I'm going to share this book with you. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy the other books um, through the week. Last Day Blues by Julie Danberg. On the Monday morning before the Friday that was the last day of school, Mrs. Hartwell took attendance. She sighed as she called out the last name. I'm going to miss all of you, she said. The kids nodded in agreement. I'm going to miss my friend, said Shannon. I'm going to miss Daisy, said Dan. I'm going to miss chocolate milk and pizza for lunch, said Joe. Everyone felt a little blue thinking about the last day of school, even Daisy. That afternoon during recess, the kids talked as they hung out on the jungle gym. Mrs. Hartwell said she's going to mix, miss us, said Alexandra, sw swinging from the bar. We should get a present to cheer her up, said Eddie, hanging upside down by his knees. But what could they get her? I could give her the rest of my sandwich. It's my mom's bologna special, said Josh. Or a coffee cup. Or a new pen, the kind with feathers and beads. The students thought and thought, but couldn't come up with one single idea that they all agreed upon. We'll think of something tomorrow, Eddie assured everyone as they lined up at the drinking fountain. On the Tuesday before the Friday that was the last day of school, Mrs. Hartwell read the final page of their last read aloud book. I'm going to miss circle time, said Mrs. Hartwell. I'm going to miss science, said Emily. I'm going to miss seeing Mrs. Hartwell wear her safety glasses during science, said Jack, giggling. And so before they got too sad, Mrs. Hartwell put on her safety goggles one last time, just for fun. <clears throat> we definitely need to cheer Mrs. Hartwell up, said Andy during recess as he jumped out of a swing. Any ideas about a present, Eddie asked? Nope, they all answered back. On the Wednesday before the Friday that was the last day of school, Mrs. Hartwell brought in her super duper sugar cookies with extra frosting. I'm going to miss snack time, but I can't wait for barbecues by the pool, said Jack. I'm going to miss recess, but I can't wait to play hide and seek outside after dinner, said Alexandra. I'll miss school, but I can't wait for summer vacation, said Josh. The class discussed their summer plans and drowned their last day blues with another round of milk and sugar cookies. I don't know whether to be happy or sad today, Andy said the minute they all arrived on the jungle gym. Mrs. Hartwell is sad, said Olivia. She probably doesn't want the year to end. While we're swimming, she'll be reading her old lesson plan, said Walker. And while we're playing, she'll be trying to remember the fun times we had this year, said Dan. And that's when an idea zip, zapped, and zinged through Eddie's brain. 
I know exactly what will cheer her up, Eddie said, jumping down from the jungle gym. The class agreed it was perfect. On the Thursday before the Friday, that was the last day of school, Eddie raised his hand right after Mrs. Hartwell started language arts. We need some privacy, please, he said. And so Mrs. Hartwell took down the bulletin boards with her back to the class. She never even peeked. Well, only once. On the morning of the Friday, that was the Friday that was the last day of school, the students dashed into the classroom. They snapped open the shades for the very last time. They did their chores for the very last time. They fed Daisy for the very last time. And as soon as the bell rang, they couldn't wait for Mrs. Hartwell to see her present for the very first time. The last, day of, the last day of school makes us so blue. We'll miss recess and pizza and reading too. We'll miss Daisy and cookies and friendships true. Snack time and science and learning new. We'll miss spelling bees for our test review and groundhogs that play peekaboo. The year's been great, a big woohoo. There are many things to miss, it's true. But mostly what we'll miss is you signed by all the classmates. Later on during recess, Eddie said, I think Mrs. Hartwell liked her present. I just hope it helps, Margaret said. Poor Mrs. Hartwell, they all said sadly as they pictured their final goodbye. Teachers must hate the last day of school. And then it was time. The bell rang. Goodbye, the students called as they rushed out the door. Goodbye, Mrs. Hartwell called after them. And then she returned to her empty classroom. It's just me and you, Daisy, she said. I'm sure going to miss them this summer. But I can't wait for vacation. I hope you enjoyed the story, Last Day Blues, and the little bit of a surprise at the end, because the kids really thought that Mrs. Hartwell was going to be so sad and missing them all summer, and I think she was sad, but if you look at those last pages, the teachers were having a pretty good time too. Enjoy reading today. Friends, your job is to read on Raz Kids or on Epic. Um, just so you know, we can see as in Miss Eckert and I can see the amount of minutes that you logged in. So make sure to take care of your assignment today, which is to read um, 30 minutes on either Raz Kids or Epic. Have a good day.